So now that you've got what you need, you're ready to start mixing your paints. Now, mixing paints sounds quite basic, but it's actually really important in watercolour to mix your paints correctly and thoroughly. People sometimes think watercolour is wishy-washy. And I mean, it can be very pale and delicate. You can create some very light tones of of colour, which are mainly water with just a hint of pigment in them. But also watercolour can be very vivid, very vibrant, very punchy. And it's really down to you and what you like. It's not difficult to make vibrant, strong colour in watercolour, if that's what you want. And certainly that's how I tend to paint. I like to use quite a strong, strong colour register. And it's not difficult to do either, but what you do need to do is to really mix your paints well with the water. The clue is in the name, it's watercolour. Somebody once described it to me as being a bit like a cup of tea. If you're British you'll know about tea, maybe not if you live in America or somewhere else. But you can have a very strong tea, which is traditionally sometimes called a builder's tea, or you can have a very weak tea, which, you know, is very delicate. It's hardly seen a tea bag or only a sprinkling of tea leaves in there for a moment or two. But the point is, the tea has to be a wet, fluid solution. You wouldn't want to drink a cup of tea that had sticky lumps of organic matter in it, or strange congealed blobs of something. No matter whether your tea is strong or weak, no matter whether your watercolour is a strong colour or a delicate colour, it should never have lumps of sticky, moist pigment in there. There should never be granules or bumps or blobs or sticky bits in your paint. And so it's important to mix it very, very thoroughly. So let's have a go. See you in a sec. So, to mix your paint, if you're working with pans, those hard little squares of watercolour, then the best thing to do is to get lots of water on your brush, soak up as much as possible, and then drop or wipe that onto the surface of the pan. Agitate the surface of the paint, trying to get the water thoroughly mixed up with the surface of that pan. Add plenty more water, keep adding droplets of water until it seems pretty fluid on the top of that cube of paint. Really agitate vigorously, brush around until the surface of that paint is really, really liquid. Sometimes people don't brush vigorously enough and that means you'll have quite a weak coloured paint. You want lots of water on the surface of your paint and you want to brush really vigorously so that you get a strong, rich colour and solution. If you then want to dilute your paint, you could always take some of that paint you've mixed, put it onto your palette and add more water and that way you can make it paler again so that you've got a more delicate solution. If you're working with tubes, squeeze some of the paint out onto your palette or plate not much, you need about the amount of a garden pea, just a little small blob. Now get plenty of water again on your brush and make a little pool of water on your palette and add some of that paint into the pool. Now really brush vigorously. Again, you want to dissolve all of that pigment, which unlike the cubes or the pans, it's not hard pigment, it's semi-liquid, it's moist but you don't want it to stay a solid at all. You want it to become a liquid. So you want to mix that watercolour paint until it's completely fluid, like a fluid, watery solution. It could be a very vivid colour, but it shouldn't have any sticky lumps in it.